What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. We have the super here. We're gonna be working on it We have a kit from evolution of speed right here We have the port injection kit. So let me just bring this up here so I can show you guys all right, so we have the additional direct uh, injector controller split second um, pretty good controller the only thing I don't like is that it's like the software for it's like Windows 97 but this will do I used it on my WRX it was pretty good simple very simple to use Let's see that's extra the cables for the injectors and then we actually have a uh, fuel line hose the custom fitting for it and the actual part itself right here that goes in between the intake manifold and the head right here uh i also i decided to go with the thousand cc injectors you know you never know um i could have done a little bit you know smaller i just decided to go you know one size fits all Oh, I don't have to take this back out once it's installed. So we're gonna install it, get this thing installed on the Supra, and then um, it's raining out, so I probably won't be able to tune it today, but I'll have to take it to a dyno because it's been raining every day. So one day I'll just have to spend time on a dyno, get this thing tuned, and you know, go from there. Now I can run 485 with this. So the benefits of going port injection is that you can run 485 and be able to support the higher power levels that you would normally can't support on the stock fuel system. Stock fuel system can handle a lot. I think, I, I mean, I've seen seven, seven-ish. Maybe it can handle a little bit more if done right. Tuning adjusted, stuff like that. Um, I just want it to be safe, run a full E85 and not have to worry about anything, especially going up to a bigger turbo. As you guys know, I'm on a 6262. It's not super duper big, but it's, it's good for what I want. I don't want no crazy horsepower Supra. But yeah, so we're gonna get to work on this and I'll show you guys part of the install, stuff like that, and let's get it. All right guys, so I finally got the manifold in. It's right there, if you guys can see it, a little black part. Um, I highly suggest waiting for the engine to be fully cooled down. Burned myself a couple times, but other than that, it is in. Uh, I just bolted down the first bolts. Um, this is that fitting right here. And then this is the harness to the injector controller. So now I'm gonna reattach this manifold and then get this all settled up. All right guys, so I finally got the manifold in. It's right there if you guys can see it, a little black part. Um, I highly suggest waiting for the engine to be fully cooled down burned myself a couple times but other than that it is in uh, I just bolted down the first bolts um, this is that fitting right here and then this is the harness to the injector controller so now I'm gonna reattach this manifold and then get this all settled up so I wasn't able to fully finish this video the day that it was raining because my G7X had died, so I'm kind of just jumping a few days ahead. That way I can finish up this video and post it. So, as you guys can tell, that manifold is in there. I don't know if you guys can see it in there. Probably not. It's going to be kind of hard, but it's hidden. All right, it's hidden under there. It's very hard to see. I'm pretty sure you can just barely see that cable right there. Um, but it's under there, right? That's the little fitting back there hooked into the OEM uh, fuel lines. We have this cable right here getting the map voltage that way it knows what voltage it's at while tuning and then the rpm pickup i actually used it for the nitrous thing and it's this uh the first cylinder back here and it's that white and gray wire right there so it's actually just tapped off of this for rpm and then the voltage uh i have everything being wired through here where the meth kit is and then this is gonna be a little dirty in here for you guys but I'm still setting all this up. Dang, I left my switches on. Um, so this is the actual controller. I have it being up here. There's a big wiring mess up here. So don't, uh, don't laugh. I just gotta fix it all up. But other than that, 
Um, this is my RPM switch. I'm not gonna leave it right here. I actually have 3M tape on the back, which is gonna go up against this up here. Same with this. I'm gonna put 3M tape on this. That way it's up against that secured. Um, don't have to worry about somebody stepping on it, but that is the box. I used this on my WRX before, but it was like, I think it was the AIC one and it used like this Windows 95 software, which was really simple and basic. I just wish it was more like, I don't know. Um, it was just too simple. This one, the a AIC two uses tuner pro, which, um, if you guys seen my Facebook post, then you already know that I that I've already tuned the car on port injection and all that and tuner pro was actually pretty easy to use um, to get the whole port injection thing set up it actually was much more simpler uh, more updated they're both still user friendly but I like this uh, AIC too but yeah man that was the install it literally probably took like 30 minutes um, it probably took a little bit longer just due to the fact that the engine was hot and I kept burning myself a shit ton of times. So just make sure that it's nice and cool. But other than that, guys, the next video you guys will see will be, I think, the Dino Day. But thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And I'll be back to you with another video. Peace out.